Really? I've never seen anybody. How'd you like it up here? I like any place with Tosca, <laughs> but especially Roco Mamas. Roco Mama. Roco Mamas. Roco Mama. Oh yeah, such good burgers. Yep. Yeah. That looks a little bit too well done. Or is sure. that how they usually serve it? It's pretty well done for me. Last time I got one here, it was well done, but yeah, I'm okay with it. Ooh, there's my pasta. Thank you. Where's my drink? Action. You know, this is wait, should I place this here? Mm -hmm. Nah, I need this. Let's see, fast bite. Ooh, that's hot. Okay. Fast bite, I hate it. Really? I usually hate food on the first bite, especially if it's new food I'm trying. But then it grows on me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. See what the second bite's like. It's not too late to get a Roca Mama's burger, babe. If I get tired of my food, I'll just we can exchange. No. No? Okay. Right, go. Hey, uh, so I got some new kitchen appliances from Hot Point, Kenya, and they are all from the Kenwood company. What else do Kenwood make? Oh, I don't know, but they made my toaster and my hand mixer, both of which I'll be unboxing in this video. So. Let me start with the small. Oops. Let me start with the smallest one, which is the hand mixer. And what's in the box? Um, stainless steel beaters, stainless steel kneaders. So that, and of course the, I guess the handle. And what else does it say here? Bake something wonderful. Uh, it says 250 watts durable motor six plus t okay that that's six speed control plus turbo it says great british design what else what else does it say oh and then the back of it i'll show you a bit in a bit i'll just show you the box a quick one now. safety interlock system ensures tools stay in place high quality dual whisks for excellent results okay six speed settings plus turbo keep you in control built to last designed to perform thanks to our unique kenwood motor let me just show you the box okay so that's just how it looks like that like that Oh my god, and I was just thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to beat um whipped cream. Yeah? I'm gonna be able to whip whipped cream. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have to get rough with this. Just have to pull this uh oh, okay, done. So it should be easier. I was right. So it says says register your new product now at kenwoodworld.com slash register and visit our social media channels for more inspiration. Woohoo, let's get into it. So the first thing that I pull out is, what do they call this? Uh, oh yeah, the stainless steel beaters and meters. So, um, when they say beaters, they mean this. And I get two in the, wow, it's mesmerizing, kind of hypnotizing to look at them. Anyway, they come two of them. Then the 
the kneaders, this is for like heavier mixes and those. So, oh, see, so four of this attachments. All right, let me just put that to the side. Box on the other side, that's trash. So next thing is, okay, instructions for the mixer. And this paper that says, designed and engineered by Kenwood in the UK, but made in China. Then, this is what it looks like. Just flip this through this. Read the manual. Just always read the manual. I think we're getting to the main part. Okay. So, there it is. And the box is empty. Let me put this aside. Here we have a mixer. Woohoo! Confetti! And okay, so this is how it looks. The main part has the set settings here for the different modes of mixing. And it snaps when you move it. And then there's a turbo button. You hear a click when you touch it or when you press it. And it's so smooth and I love the color. It's just, I love it. Okay, so, and then this looks like a long enough cable and connecting to the wall. It comes with plastic, plastic guard. I cut the blue thing a lot. Mm. Now all the ones in the pan. I'm really excited for the mixer because I want to try and make donuts. Well, because I bought a new sandwich maker and it's a four in one, it makes donuts. Well, mini donuts. So that's long enough. And there is the mixer. All right, let's just move on to the next thing. I'll show you how this works. Maybe in another vlog or this one. I don't know. Okay. For the moment, I'll just put them back in the box. All right. I present to you my first ever toaster. <laughs> Some people were extra excited for this one. Some people in this house, wow. So this is a Kenwood toaster, accent collection toaster. Make, uh, okay, breakfast made easy and it's a two slot capacity, defrost function, removable crumb tray. Cool. Okay. Mm. All right. Interesting. So at the back, it says, stylish design to complement any kitchen. Yeah, it's definitely looking slick here. Like it's black, black mixed with silver parts. That's so nice. Easier cleaning with removable crumb tray. Awesome. I think that's a really cool feature. Sounds like a feature that I would find pretty useful. Uh, complete your kitchen with the matching kettle. So they're advertising some of, oh, one of the other things. Adjustable browning control to make toast just the way you like it. Oh. Oh, okay, and then it says warranty seal certified here before you open it. So I'll just show you how the box looks like. So that's how it looks like at the back, at the top, on the side. Let me just move on the side. And then, ooh, <laughs> on this other side. So see which you can make with toast and then at the bottom. Okay, let's open it. Um, so I have to remove the warranty seal or just, just the uh, it, I think. Scissors here on the top. I hope I'm not done. 
damaging anything inside. Nope. I catch it without damaging much. Okay, let's open. Whew, okay. So first, oh. Okay, so this, there's this, what do you call this? Styrofoam. To protect it? There's this styrofoam foam to protect the toaster and I just pulled it out. Pulls so really in. great, yeah. <laughs> really great um, safety packaging. Oh, I can see it's that tight. <laughs> the villa. Mm. They told me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is how it looks on the inside. Can they see? Awesome. All right, let's let me pull it out. Wow, that's big. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this is big. Oh my god. And then there's more foam inside. So they really package it well to guide it. Oh, and then on the side, there's the instructions. Read them. That's my tip. Let me just put that on the side. Let me pull this to see if there's anything more. Nope. All right, let's get it out of this um, nylon paper bag. Oh, wow, that is so shiny. I don't want to touch. Oh my God, I already put my fingerprints. I already put my... We're filming here. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sleek. Oh, let me just pull it out. Okay, so I'm having a bit of a. Oh. Okay, so yeah. They just wrapped it in polythene plastic. I don't know. Just getting all the plastic out of the way. the back wow I wow I need the instructions manual wow I need to play that a bit so the what are they called okay so this is the instructions and you open like this and there's a big picture of the toaster so one yeah, I don't know the parts the parts of a toaster because this is my first ever. So you have to forgive me. Patience for a beginner. Okay, one. Car carriage carriage lever. You just no lever. It's this one. Okay. So when I push it when I push the lever down, some metal something goes down. <laughs> some metal bar. Oh, so when I, when I push it down completely, there's this other like grills that snap together, closer together and like makes a click and that's them snapping together. Yeah. Then there's, there's two, there's two, which is, it says it, two. You didn't show them the lever. No, oh, the lever. Tell them this is the lever. <laughs> This is the lever. <laughs> okay, two is browning setting dial. So let me just turn this up. Okay, this one. So there's how many? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The browning dial and there's eight settings. This is a reheat reheat button with indicator light so there's a like a red button here like i mean a red indicator light here yeah do you see a small mini bulb here um you can yeah you can't really see the buttons but you can see everything else so just tell them there are buttons there yeah they heard you 
Then the middle button, so there's three buttons here. The, the first one is reheat button with indicator light. The second one is cancel button. And the fifth one is a defrost, defrost button with indicator light. So if you've frozen your bread or buns, you can just use this. Then, whoa, really? Six, six is cod storage. So it's underneath the toaster. If they can see what? And it's the card storage. So you just run the card here Ooh, and it snaps cool. into place like that. There's, and there's four. So, all right. I'm, I'm already putting my fingerprints on this. Like I've just marked it. I've marked my territory. All right. Then seven is a crumbed tray. Seven is a crumbed tray. It's somewhere over here. Oh, and it's easy to push, to, to put, to, it's easy to remove the crumbed tray. So let's pull it out. And that's how it looks like. And I guess it's easy. Let me look underneath. Okay, so there's a slot for it. Very easy to you. learn it. Yeah, it's, I would say it's intuitive once you look at the map instructions. <laughs> and that's it. That's all I need to unbox today. Woohoo! There we go. Unboxed everything. Okay, a few more words. I'm back. <laughs> I forgot to tell you that the slots are really wide. That means you can toast not only slices of bread but also like buns, burger buns. That is so cool. Like you want things that can do multiple things, you know, so you don't have to buy other things to do other functions. So yeah, yay! I got a toaster. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to remove the, the plastic guard, then remove this so that we can see the length of the cord. Not super long, but it works. It works. Also, it's infinitely adjustable, so you, like you can put like, let's say, um, six... 6.5 no 6.5 sorry that was 5.5 so and then you come here 6.5 7 7.5 7. something like that how cool is that turned it on to burn off any dust or whatever from packaging and um, there's a smell and some smoke that's probably grease right grease dust Grease dust from when they were packaging it. There'll probably be a little more. I'll push it down hard, firmly. And there you go. Oh, it's supposed to stick together like that? Mm-hmm. And then it'll heat up. And then when it heats up, hmm. it does what? It will toast the bread, but right now it's burning off a little dust and stuff still. Okay, it looked like it mostly stopped. Okay. If you ever want to just make it stop right away. This middle button, it's triangle, I guess it's supposed to be like morning or something. Just press that and... <laughs> yeah, uh, no. It was it, getting red, I mean like orange. Yeah, yeah, it will. Anytime, it's, anytime this is up, it's off. But when that's down, it's on. You shook me, you really shook me. I wanted to get that reaction. You gotta push it pretty hard. It might be because it's new or maybe it's just how that one is. But like if you had bread in there now, the bread would be getting, getting okay. toasty. Oh. So we're just going to put one slice of bread on like setting four, see what happens. The bread is from the fridge. Yeah. Bread. Put two. Like on the two. Yeah. So you even just like, them like that. Yep. Just and then you push the lever down. Push it all the way down. Okay, they've been gripped. Yep, and we'll just wait. Oh, we just wait? Yep. Did you put it on four like you said you would? Yep. 
Four, right. four means four minutes. No, no, four is just an arbitrary thing. It goes up to what, eight, so four would be, you know, I figure so, about halfway. Eight, if we put on eight, it'd probably come out pretty burned. So if it, it just, when it's ready, it's like, it pops up. Yeah, it'll make you jump. Okay. Oh, actually, my toaster at home, mm -hmm. it's a real, it's a pretty cheap one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if you have one piece of bread in, it'll pop it up so hard. I've, I had this happen twice. Mm -hmm. The bread would come up and land in the middle and stay up and stand. Cool. It freaked me out. In the middle here. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, it was just like, I guess the piece of bread was just real flat on the bottom and just boom, pshup, and just stayed there. <laughs> and it just, it blew my mind. So if that ever happens to you, you have to take a picture of it because I did Because nobody will ever believe me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. It's hard to believe. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, Grisha didn't be here when I smelled the bread. Mm -hmm. I, why can we put blue bun? Hmm? Like butter. Don't put, don't put your. Yeah, after you don't know, put it on, it would be dripping in there right now. Oh. But, yeah, and that would be bad. Yeah. I see a little bit of smoke. Why would it be bad? Because we mm. have to clean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would leave a mess in there. But I see people doing that in movies. Really? Yeah. I've never seen anybody. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm so sure. <laughs> now, 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 normally, see, it's hard to get, but usually, yeah, this toaster's got what they call high lift. Mm -hmm. When it's done, you can lift it up and then you can. Look at that. Cool. Ooh, yeah. No, it is not cool. It's hot. <laughs> get what? a saucer. Plus, you can leave it oh, there. Oh, and we have those um, yeah. thingies. Oh, the tongs, the plastic tongs. Yeah. That I got from Minisa. Watch yeah. my other video. Okay. Cool. Yeah. No, if only you had yeah. a saucer, yeah, only a handful. There we go, there we go. Okay. No, it's yeah, it's real easy to toss there because it's so long too. Yeah, it did a pretty good even job, I think. Okay, so. Wow, that looks good. Comes up fast. Fast. No. I'll definitely watch more videos on like toasters to see if we can Safely put like other things on it. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. cool. Let's Looks do. like four is a pretty pretty good setting to start with. I don't know if that's too dark for you or not. That's usually that's actually that's, not caring at all. that's actually really close to how I like my toast. That's right, you never know it's gonna pop up. You wanted us to jump. Mmm. <laughs> Butter. Mm-hmm. Butter. Oh that cool looks a little bit already. Yeah. And butter came out of the fridge, so I never keep butter in the fridge. So it's not going as smoothly as you'd find. No. It's actually doing really well, in my opinion. Because usually I'm that sure. would be like... Yeah, that is usually very well. Also, like, if you're not ready, if you, if you know you're going to butter it, or if you're not ready, you can just leave it sitting there. Because you can feel there's a lot of heat still. I'll keep it nice and warm for you, too. Oh, okay. Let me yeah. just throw this yeah, back yeah. in for you. Yeah, it cools off fast enough that it's not going to burn the bread anymore. Mm. 